Hello everyone, Waldo Soto here from the Social Change Platform 2811. 2811 because the 28th of November 2015, Chile for its first time uh, got technically unsustainable. And since then, um, we have the aim of change that reality, uh, working with projects accelerating the social change and ecological change. Our, our main purpose is to promote a regenerative ecosystem, a regenerative development that can um, rebuild, in a way, the social and ecological breaks that we have caused. One of our iconic projects we have uh, today is the Climate Action Labs project. This is a project where we are co-creating social innovation labs for climate action among universities and local government foundations also in the global south. We are doing this with the methodology of creating social innovation laboratories. This is also linked to, to a bit the, the, the history of our platform. We, we founded this uh, platform um, four, five years ago with Gabriela, um, also a co-creator of this project, after uh, leaving the social innovation lab that we installed in the Catholic University in Chile. So after taking that experience, we start uh, shaping and co-creating uh, social innovation laboratories for different universities in Latin America, right? So what is a social innovation lab first? Um, <clears throat> A social innovation lab is kind of a experimental space, right? Um, and, and we divide this in two, two, two ways of uh, kind of understand it. First, we, we can define it uh, taking the approach that typically a social innovation lab is considering. So it's kind of always listening was it what it, it is emerging in the ecosystems? What is kind of uh, emerging uh, at the societal level? Level so it's always kind of with the open ears, uh, listening the the society and also the ecosystems. Then, <clears throat> a social innovation lab, since it's, it is kind of a social experimental experimental uh, place, it has always this kind of systemic approach, right? Because since it is kind of rooted and embedded in the society, it has to understand the society in a, in a more complex way. And that's because we say that has to somehow take into account this uh, idea of systemic understanding of the reality. Then it's, it's people-centered and it's a human-centered. Um, and this is also uh, quite useful when the social innovation laboratories are working with local communities so they don't get lost in a way and they focus the, the work they're doing on people, um, on the communities. And then it's really embedded on the territories and this is the approach of uh, territoriality, right? And then it has a focus also on the sustainability aspect, on not just the, the environmental environmental aspect of this, of this, rather also the kind of scale, scalability issue that a lot of local social initiatives are facing. So it gives also an approach of making local changes, but at the same time, scaling up those social, uh, local changes to other different territories. About methods, methods, um, we have that uh, typically they gather like different stakeholders to work together. The systemic thinking that we already talked about, also they put in place this design thinking methods, also typically closer to the idea of human centered design, right? And they have this idea of experimenting through prototypes, testing solutions, and then tackling those, how, uh, how some people call them, those kind of complex problems, right? This is a, an example uh, 
we recommend you to, to check this later, is the Economic Immigration Lab. Uh, and they have like a fear of change. They're working with local communities on creating new solutions for the immigration uh, or migration uh, issue. So we focus these social innovation labs in climate change because it's one of the most pressing issues that our humanity faces right now. Uh, and because we need a systemic approach to actually face uh, the challenge and to um, create solutions of adaptation and mitigation to climate change. Um, in a South uh, and global perspective, actually, we need to see this problem as a as environmental justice problem too, because most of our most vulnerable communities will be facing the uh, problems about climate change sooner and in a more um, heavy way. Um, we also think that it's not uh, enough to collaborate south to north or north to south but we also need South-South collaboration because there are so many experiences that can be um, exchanged between countries in the South, communities in the South, that makes sense to scale and to uh, use to develop new solutions in the Southern context, in this climate justice context too. That's why we think it doesn't make sense to do it uh, alone but it makes sense to do it in community with other countries from the South, and as well as learning also about experiences in the North. Our first experiment is Climate Labs. This is a project funded by Erasmus Plus from the European Union. And the purpose of this project is to create new interdisciplinary workspaces in Latin America and Europe. Uh, these are all the universities that are participating in that project are, and we're very proud that it already started this year and we will be working for three years together to develop these social innovation labs on climate change. Uh, we're also now thinking about a second project that includes Africa and Latin America and we think it, would, it will be very, very um, interesting to think about the collaboration between Uganda, Colombia, Kenya and Chile in a specific. Thank you so much for hearing this presentation. And um, if you have any doubts or if you think a climate action lab will be useful in your community, please uh, get in contact with us.